Hello guys, today I decided to share with you some information about how to get uh, uh, EIN if you have LLC, so if you already launched the company and uh, you have LLC and you need uh, to get this IRS number, which is only for uh, the companies, so I'll uh, give you like guide step-by-step -step guide uh, what I did and it helped me to save $200. If you want to do it by yourself and you want to save uh, $200 then uh, this video is exactly for you. So basically you have to go to irs.com uh, uh, and you have to download uh, this uh, form SS4. So this form is only for LLC. I launched my LLC and consequently I had to get this IRS number. So uh, how did I do it? Uh, first of all, you have to know that you're supposed to have an uh, article which uh, you're getting from state uh, uh, secretary uh, and you're supposed to have passport, your passport, international passport and also you're supposed to have a fax. Yes, <laughs> it's kind of strange, but uh, uh, you can send this application only by fax, nothing else. You cannot send uh, it by email or anyhow, or you can send it by uh, normal mail, I guess, but I'm not sure about that information. I send it by fax. To be honest, uh, it was a little bit difficult for me to find it, but uh, some life hacks. Uh, you can go to money exchange or um, some other places uh, like uh, where they deal with money uh, like sending money and receiving money like Western Union those places have faxes and uh, I mentioned in my application the, their fax uh, despite um, hmm, it's not that easy to get it back but still uh, I managed it uh, when I wanted to receive uh, this uh, document from IRS <clears throat> I called them and I told them uh, that this is exactly me, Victoria, blah 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 who is calling, they asked me a few questions, verification questions and uh, they told me that uh, they can send me <clears throat> this uh, uh, number by fax but uh, of course they will not send it by fax if you are not there next to that fax because it was a fax machine from money exchange uh, but still like we figure out with one of my friend that uh, we will create a virtual fax he created actually because I didn't want to pay money <laughs> and uh, I asked him to do that. Anyway, uh, so uh, there is um, an application iFax. You can uh, get a virtual fax and uh, you still can get this uh, paper by fax. Okay, what else you have to know? You cannot leave anything blank because uh, they told me if you leave something blank, uh, your application will be returned to you without this number. So you just have to be sure that absolutely every single place is filled with something. Uh, what I also advise you, if you are in the USA, uh, there is a number, this number, you can call them and you can ask them any question. To be honest, I called them two times and uh, yes, I waited for 40 minutes, uh, the other time I waited uh, maybe 20 minutes, but still, they give consultations for free. So I asked them absolutely all the questions which uh, I wanted to ask because uh, there were like some stuff which I couldn't understand. I was trying to find on the internet, but uh, what I found was wrong. So basically, yeah, I made one mistake, but the guy, he just laughed and he was like, that's fine, but I'll tell you where I did the mistake. And they still send me this by fax this number by fax so let's start in the top right corner it's written EIN so this place you leave it blank this is the only place where you leave it blank okay the first one here legal name of entity so here you're writing the name of your company second trade name of business so when I call them I ask them what is trade name uh, of business they explain to me that 
it can be some abbreviation for your company. Number three, executor, administrator, trustee, care of name. So you have to write your name, the owner of the company. Number four, mailing address. Here you have to write uh, the apartment and the street in PO box. Number five, uh, street address. Here I again, I wrote uh, my uh, address, home address, 4B. Then you have to write city, state and zip code. I guess everybody understand how to do that. 5B, you're writing city, state and zip code. It's also easy. Number six country and state uh, where the principal business is located. So I uh, registered my business in Chicago, Illinois, so I wrote Chicago, Illinois. Uh, name of responsible party, you. <laughs> okay, uh, this one, 7B. 7B, it's written here, SSN, which is social security number. If you are a foreigner, you don't have it. Then ITIN, it's also uh, if you are a US citizen, you're supposed to have I-T-I-N or E-I-N. So you are applying for this one. And this one, uh, you are writing that uh, you are a foreigner and you don't have. You cannot leave it blank because I was like, I don't have any. <laughs> but you cannot leave it blank. Next one. Uh, is this application for a limited liability company? Yes. 8B. Uh, if it's yes, enter uh, the number of LLC. I wrote one. 8C. If 8A is yes, what was the LLC organized? Uh, was the LLC organized in the United States? Yes. Number 9A type of entity. Here you have to write LLC. I wrote some other stuff which I found uh, on the internet. It's wrong. Because I called IRS, they told me you have to write LLC. I don't remember what I wrote in my application, but I will check it when I get home because uh, here I have uh, uh, some draft, uh, so I cannot tell you right now what I wrote here. Then number 10, reason for applying. Uh, started new business and then I wrote uh, uh, my company is media production photo and video number 11 date a business started or acquired months day year uh, see instructions so basically here you have to write uh, uh, the date when you launched your LLC no when you decided to launch it but uh, uh, when your company became legal number 12 Closing months of accounting year 12. Highest number of employees expected in the next 12 months. Enter zero uh, if none. If no employees expected, skip the line 14. So here I wrote zero because uh, I was not planning and I'm still not planning to hire anybody. If uh, you're hiring somebody, so you have to change the documents as I understood. Number 15, sorry, I don't remember what I wrote here. I'll check uh, on my documents when I'm gonna be at home because I'm at Christmas party <laughs> uh, at my friend's house. Number 16, I wrote here photo and video production. Number 17, also I wrote photo and video production. Number 18, I checked no. Then you have a third party, so here you have to write your agent or someone who will receive your documents uh, on your behalf. So yes, you can do that. For example, if you live not in the USA, but you live abroad, so this is the way you do it. But I call them and I ask them if my third party can receive a fax. She said like, unless you are not in the USA, yes, he can receive it. But because I was in the USA and they knew that I'm in the USA because I'm writing my address. So they were like, no, you are the only one who can get it. I was like, okay. <laughs> then you're writing design is telephone number. You're writing the person's uh, phone number who's gonna receive your documents. Huh, this is the question. Design is 
fax number this is the one where we were struggling like we were trying to find different ways but then just my friend came up with the idea to create a virtual fax and here is the mistake which i made i wrote my name my last name and then i put comma and i wrote that i'm ceo as if you know i own uh, the huge corporation no here you have to write uh, uh, owner because uh, when i asked them to send this uh, number by fax they were like okay who are you in the company <laughs> and i'm like i am ceo <laughs> they were like really and they were laughing um but um, and then the guy explained to me he was like you are the owner you cannot write ceo or general manager because you don't have employees okay and then you just write in uh, applicant's telephone number including area code and uh, then you're writing applicant's fax number including the code so i mentioned uh, the fax uh, which belongs to this money exchange but uh, literally when i call them you can uh, tell any fax but you have to be exactly next to that fax and before they send this number they ask uh, do you give me permission to send a fax right now because the third party will see this number you know I, at some point i was a little bit concerned and i asked them i was like okay is it like something uh, um, something really bad that somebody will see this number and uh, i was like in my country they joke around uh, saying like oh let somebody pay my taxes but i know that in the usa social security number is something really big and uh, nobody will tell you uh, his or her social security number but i asked the guy about this uh, tax number E I N. Uh, he said like no uh, you shouldn't be afraid uh, that somebody will see it because uh, it's uh, quite like um, like there is no fraud on it and also you have to put your signature and the date when you are applying for this number so basically IRS will take approximately four working days to proceed uh, with all the registration and all that stuff i don't know like what <laughs> what are they doing but uh it was mentioned on the website that it will take them four days and uh, uh if uh, you ask them to send uh, by mail i guess it will come back to you within two weeks or three weeks it came to me back uh, within two weeks um but if you need it urgently, like me, I just went to uh, Money Exchange and I called them. Basically, you will be with them on the line and they will be asking you questions. Are you this person? When were you born? Uh, what state uh, you registered your company? And they will be asking the questions uh, exactly what is written in your um, document. And only after that, they will send it to you. Uh, so good luck and uh, don't be afraid to do it by yourself because if you ask an agent uh, they will charge you $200 and if you do it by yourself it's gonna be for free for you if you like this video just give me some likes if you have some questions leave them in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you soon bye bye